Ben here, back out of the sawmill. Now today, what I'm gonna do is I got a small cherry log here, and I'm gonna attempt to make some 4x4s out of it. I've got a little bit of a side project going on. We're gonna attempt to take some of the slab wood that I've got and make a bench out of it. But let me show you what I've got going on here. Now here's a log that I'm gonna try to get some 4x4s out of. If you look at it, the log itself is really only about eight inches, actually seven and a half. Seven and a half inches diameter. Okay. If you look at the log, it comes up and it kind of sweeps at the end and goes to the left. There's a couple small branches here that I got to cut off. I got the chainsaw here. But if you roll the log over, you can kind of see that on the bottom side, it has a little bit of a hook to it too. And up there at the end, it has a big hook on it. So it's going to be interesting to try to get reasonable 4x4 out of this. I think if I cut this piece here kind of has a little bit of a hook right here. If I cut it off right about here somewhere from there up to about where it hooks again.
that didn't take long and there you have it four by four that's a little over six foot four by four cherry post and like i said these are going to be legs for a bench this one edge here has a little bit of a live edge on it yet in the corner but it's going to be uh, put on the lathe and spun down to a circle so it ain't going to matter the cherry mill's pretty nice on the lathe Nice little slob wood bench. The uh, legs were built out of four by fours, put on the lathe and turned down. The uh, spindles for the hand rest in the back are from a piece of slob wood that was cut two by two and then turned on the lathe just to make spindles out of. And then everything else is just slob wood, the bench itself, the back rest on the two ends. You can see this is all green wood and I'm not sure how it's gonna dry, what it's gonna do. But uh, if we seal it all up, we'll see what it does, see how it holds up. The legs in the back are all just put together, just a snug fit and some Forstner bits, and just put together just a tight snug fit, and then uh, glued is all they are. There's no hardware on any of that. The only thing that has any hardware are the four legs have screws ran down into them just to help stiffen them up a little bit. But other than that, everything is just a snug fit, put together and glued. See what everybody thinks about that. Till next time, I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.